Hi students, my name is Satya Narayan and I am one of the teachers at IQ Ideas. After the removal of the upper age limit which used to be 20 for the general category candidates, it was possible for me to attempt the CLAT undergraduate paper myself. So to get a first hand feel of what the students undergo when appearing for this exam, I registered for the same. CLAT 2015 was conducted by the Ram Manohar Lohia National Law University, the RMLNLU, and there were a number of changes both in the mode and pattern of the examination as compared to the previous editions. One, this examination, which was still now an OMR sheet paper pencil based test, was now conducted online on a computer. The upper age limit, as mentioned before, was removed. Now, having appeared for both paper and computer based versions of various exams, I had advised my students that the preparation for the exam would not drastically differ. So, on 10th of May 2015, I appeared for the Grand CLAT. As the examination started at 3 p.m. IST, according to game plan, I quickly went through all the questions before attempting any. A cursory inspection gave me the following analysis. The English section had standard questions based on reading comprehension, vocabulary and grammar. The mathematics section seem to have a few questions which would be surprisingly tough considering the average age of most of the students appearing for this exam. The reasoning or logic section seemed to follow the usual pattern with no major change. The general knowledge and current affairs section seemed standard. However, one would have to read the questions in detail to more, know more about them. Finally, the legal aptitude section. Now, it did have a few questions which were aptitude based, that is, questions in which a principle is given and the right answer has to be selected for the given set of facts. However, there were also a lot of questions based on legal awareness. Alarm bells went off in my head. Now, all those students are repeatedly told during the time of preparation that one should anticipate any googly in the paper. Not many would have heeded my advice and may panic on seeing fewer questions on aptitude and more on awareness. Well, nothing can be done now. Let's start attempting the paper. As per my game plan, I started with the general knowledge and current affairs section. A lot of questions on current affairs concentrated on the months of January, February and March of 2015. Students who would have diligently prepared for this section would find it easy. Now after attempting the few questions that I was confident on, I shifted to English. A few questions in this section seemed ambiguous in the wording and the answers to a few seemed suspicious. Normally, I would complete the entire section of English except once based on reading comprehension and jumbled passages. However, in this paper, I purposely left many other questions and I moved on to mathematics. Surprise, surprise! The questions were not of the level that students would normally expect. A lot of conceptual questions which one would normally expect in postgraduate level entrance exams, especially the CAT, seem to have been asked. Now, under ordinary circumstances, I would easily crack the 20 questions in about 15 minutes and move ahead. But today, I could hardly attempt 10 odd questions in about 15 to 20 minutes. Keeping my ego aside, I decided to move ahead with the reasoning section. Questions based on coding, relations, directions and others were easily handled. Although 
the wordings in some of the questions were printed badly and one of the questions seemed to have the same answer repeated in the options. The puzzles, and there were two of them, were again of a difficulty level which seemed totally unexpected in an exam of this nature. Finally, I went through the legal aptitude section. The questions based on principle and facts were those which seemed to be printed from commercially available entrance test preparation books and past year papers. None of the aptitude section questions seemed new. But the legal awareness questions tested my knowledge to the core. After attempting a couple of dozen questions from the 50, I finally paused to check my progress in the paper. I had just under an hour left and my number of attempts barely touched the three digit mark. So now it was simply a game of Russian roulette. I randomly jumped between sections and attempted those questions which I could and there was no method to my madness. After a lot of sweat and toil and anguish and swearing, not allowed, I reached an attempt of just 168. With 5 minutes to go, I lost my patience and stopped attempting any further. Hmm. Let's wait and watch. Now, once the examination was over, when I came out of the center, I was mobbed by my students who had experiences very similar to mine. A lot of moans and curses were heard about the toughness of the math and reasoning section. The unexpected emergence of legal awareness questions and the overall inability to attempt many questions. My first prediction on that day was that the overall cutoffs would drastically plunge as compared to the previous editions of the examination. Come 20th of May, the results were announced. Many students were sorely disappointed at their low scores. A common feeling across board was that the score obtained was at least 30 to 35 marks lower than expected. But hey, that just means that the overall cutoffs would also be correspondingly low. Now, CLAT 2015 has been beset with many controversies, ranging from badly printed questions, errors in the wordings, and errors in the provided answer key. However, all such things aside, one thing which students need to understand is that there are certain common factors which are necessary to be kept in mind so that a student can easily crack any entrance test, especially the CLAT. I'll soon be coming up with a lot many more videos which should help students who are preparing for the next editions of CLAT to prepare well and crack this examination. Keep following. Best of luck. Have a good day.